What if we told you that the man who was key to Australia winning their first ever World Cup went on to be not a legend, but a forgotten hero with a 20 ODI career? This is the short story of Mike Valletta. There's lots of people to remember about the 1987 final and, and, and uh, the thing most people talk about is, is Mike Gatton's reverse sweep. Uh, but while that was getting the headlines, uh, an Australian batsman called Mike Valletta made one of the great unsung cameos in a World Cup final. At 168 for four, a winning target seemed far away from Australia until Border was joined by the right-handed Valletta in the middle. Very early on, he tried to attack England's spinners. I think they had two off spinners in Embry and Hemmings. And he tried to hit them against the spin, and he ended up spooning the ball just over cover. I think it went for four, but he was quite lucky to get away from it, away with it. And he just thought that everything was going England's way. There was no way they were going to set, um, Australia were going to set any sort of target. But he then started to, he, he would go right back at his crease and hitting everything to the leg side. He was deflecting sort of going across. On that trip, as I said, if Bernie failed, Swabby got runs, or Dino stood up, or AB got some, and then, and also, as you say, Michael Valletta um, got some very important sort of 40s and 50s, and really opened innings up, because he got them quickly. He never, he didn't sort of get 50 runs off 75 balls, it was, it was 50 off 30, and uh, he played really well, and he was a good runner between wickets. In those days, the uh, boundary was not brought in so much, it was still quite, uh, quite back. Uh, so there were enough gaps in those, these guys were really good runners. Uh, uh, so there was a lot of that, I think there were a lot of twos and threes uh, uh, um, in, in that innings. I don't think there was too much slogging, the slogging came from, from others. He, he never really believed he was a, an improviser as a batsman uh, until he actually read that he was in, in Steve Waugh's book. Um, he regarded himself as, uh, as a dogged, um, long form opening batsman for Western Australia. He once batted 13 hours in a, in a Sheffield Shield final for 266 and uh, that's, that's the sort of player he was. He was just never seen as, a, as a, an exciting um, World Cup batsman. Australia won the final by just seven runs and those who watched it closely have not forgotten this forgotten hero. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comments section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.